Now in this part of the question then, we're told that when f of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is equal to 4 and asked to find the value of k. So how do we do this? Well, what you've got to remember is what is called the remainder theorem. And the remainder theorem goes like this, just in case you're unaware of it. That if f of x is a polynomial, a polynomial is something like this, where if you expanded this, it goes down or up in ascending powers of x. Then when f of x is divided by x minus alpha, the remainder is equal to f of alpha. Now you can see that this x minus alpha, when we divide by x minus alpha, can you see that alpha is the 2? We've got our minus, that's that minus there, but alpha is 2. So we get the remainder by doing f of 2. And we're told that that remainder was 4. So therefore what we can say is that f of 2 must equal the remainder 4. So all we need to do is substitute 4x as a 2. So if we do that we've essentially got for the first bracket, I'll put it in square brackets, we've got 3 times 2 minus 2 that's that bracket, multiplied by the next bracket, x is 2, so we've got 2 minus k. Then we've got the minus 8, and that should equal the 4 down here. So we've got f of 2 equals 4. Just clean this up. What have we got here? We've got 6 minus 2, which is 4, so we've got 4 bracket 2 minus k minus the 8 equals 4. I'm going to add 8 to both sides at this stage, so we've got equals 4 add 8, which is 12. I could expand the bracket out, and I've got 4 twos are 8, minus 4k equals 12. And then if I add 4k to both sides and subtract 12 from both sides, I've got 8 take 12, which is minus 4, equals plus 4k. Divide both sides by 4, and you've got that k equals minus 4 divided by 4, and that results in k equaling minus 1. There you go. That's the value of k, and that brings us to the end of this part of the question.